Okay, everyone, this is the second slideshow on Unit 16. We're practicing the all sound, AU and AW. Okay, so let's start off with some modified trick words. Okay, so remember there are only three trick words, but I've modified two of them just to make it kind of interesting. So let's see if you can spell these modified, these changed trick words. The first one is not changed. It's the month August. Okay, let's see if you have it. All right, the next one is daughters. My neighbors have four daughters. Okay, let's take a look at it. Okay, there's that S at the end that sounds like a Z. Remember that? Okay, and the last one is laughing. Everyone was laughing when I told that joke. And let's take a look at that. Okay, how did you do? Wonderful. Keep practicing, and let's move on. We talked about AU, and the important thing that we said about it was that it does not come at the end of a syllable. That's a very helpful thing to remember. So, we have so many words like auto and automatic, launch and laundry, haunted, taunted, which is almost like they teased somebody, they made fun of them, okay? It's kind of being mean on the playground sometimes, people taunt others. Sauce and pause. And then we have these really tricky ones, which I'm actually not supposed to be talking about here, but it's okay. We've got caught and taught, like I hope you feel like I taught you a lot this year. And daughter, oh, we've already looked at that one. That is one of our trick words. And this one here, some people say aunt, like my uncle's wife is my aunt. But some people say aunt, my aunt. So I'm going to call that a trick word because there are two common ways of saying it. It doesn't matter how you say it with these words here and with many many more a u is not at the end of a syllable and with a w we said that when we hear the a uh sound at the end of a syllable it's an a w word and if you hear an n or an l after it you should use a w most of the time so we have saw paw jaw straw claw thaw and draw those are actually not that difficult because we know that a u can't be at the end all right and then we have dawn pawn lawn fawn prawn yawn and drawn Okay, and these are AW words that have an N after them. And remember, we could always add some suffixes, suffixes to these, like um, uh, th I had some prawns for lunch. Prawns are sea animals that are kind of like shrimp. Or you might say, um, it dawned on me after I thought about it for a long time. Okay, then we have those L words like crawl, brawl, which is a kind of fight, and shawl, and drawl. Now, be careful with drawl. Drawl is like a slow, lazy way of speaking like, hey, how you all doing? Y'all feeling all right? Good, that's wonderful. Nice, slow, lazy way of speaking is called a drawl. Okay, and we occasionally get, oh, look, you know what that is? It's a fawn, 
I bet you were wondering what that was. A fawn is a young deer. Okay, now, then we get the occasional weird word like awful. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, Mr. P. I see a W at the beginning of the word. Well, that's true, but it's actually the syllable that we're talking about. So, a W is at the end of that syllable. Okay, so some words like awful, and there are a couple of other ones. Uh, we'll start with a W, but there are not many. Okay, and then we'll get another weird word, kind of like this one here hawk. Why is this a strange one? Because we have a W in the middle of a syllable and the letter after it is not an N or an L. Okay. There are some words like this, hawk and squawk and a couple of other ones, but this is a nice way of remembering the basic rules. We're just talking about the basic rules here. Okay. All right, let's move on. All right, so let's see if you can spell these. The first word is seesaw. When I go to the park, I love to play on the seesaw. And here it is. The next one is astronauts. There were two astronauts who went up into space very recently. Astronauts. Okay, let's take a look. Astro, nauts. Astro means star, and nauts means sailors. So astronauts are those people who sail, look like they're sailing up in the stars. And how did they get up into space? They were on a rocket that launched, launched a few days ago. So your word is launched. Be careful with this one. Here it is. Okay, your next word is hawk. Yes, the one I just showed you on the previous slide, hawk. And here it is. Next is lawn, like the grass in your yard. Oh, that reminds me, I have to mow my lawn lawn. Here it is. And mowing the lawn is a little bit of work, but there's something that's even more tiring. Laundry. Laundry. You should go up to the person who does the laundry in your home and just give them a big hug and say thank you. Laundry. And here it is. This is a little tricky, right? Lawn, L-A-W, and it's got that N. Laundry also has the aw sound, and it's got the N sound, but the word is not finished. Okay, that's not a suffix. So that's why we're not using the W there. Okay, ah, laundry. Believe me, folks, it is not fun. Ah, sometimes you just feel like it'll never end. 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 The end.